Hey everybody, Dave here for Iographer. We're taking a look at Eye Stop Motion for iPad today by Boinks Software. And you can check them out at boinks.com. Also check the App Store for Eye Stop Motion for iPad. It's a great tool to have on your Iographer. And we love using it here. Uh, my seven-year-old loves making little animated videos. And I just love having it for times like when I went to the gym yesterday and was able to do a time lapse very easily. And I'll just press play here of a class, my friend's class. She wanted to get some cool video just to have for later. And as you can see, very easy and fun to do. So I'm going to start a new project here. I'm going to click on the gallery to go back to square one. I'm going to press the little plus button down here. Opens up a new project. And here I've got my cool Lego truck, letting it get um, just nice and, and uh, focused now. And over here on the right, you're going to see a circle. That's, the, that's going to take one picture if you press it once. And on the left is your play button. And this is really the basics of all you need to do. So I'm going to press one little uh, picture. So I'm going to press it once. And there it is. And now I'm going to go in here and move it just a hair. Take another picture. And then I'm going to go in here and move this just a hair. And you can see that there's a kind of a ghost of the last move I was at. That's to kind of, that's to actually, it's to guide you. Uh, it's, it was called onion skinning in the old days. And it's kind of guiding you to where you can put your thing, so your, your Lego or whatever you're animating, so that you can see it um, and have nice movement from it there. So I'm going to press another one. And then we're going to go a little further. Press play. And then, you know what, while we're here at this point, I'm just going to start to move this up a little bit. And we'll do that. And then we're going to crank this out a hair. <clears throat> I'll move this up just a little hair. There we go. And then I'll go down here and I'll let it go down right there. It's going to start drilling. And I'm going to press the play button to see what we've got so far. And it really is that easy to do. Um, so fun. Uh, like I said, my seven-year-old loves to do that. So now when I'm done with that, I can go back to the gallery. I can press the share button here in the middle. And I can save it out to the camera roll. I can mail it to somebody. I can upload it directly to YouTube, Dropbox, to a server. I can make an animated GIF of it. And I can upload that animated GIF up to Dropbox. So I've got lots of options to do. I'm going to click done and up here, um, actually we'll go back and show you how to do a time lapse now. So I'm going to press the plus button again and I'm going to do a time lapse. So instead up here in the top right after the camera icon, you see the little uh, button there it looks like a clock. If I click on that once now it allows me, do I want to be a time lapse, a single mode where I'm taking the individual individual pictures or go into time lapse itself where it's automatic. So right now it's an interval of one second, but maybe I want to go to five, which is what I did on that other one. And I click out of that. And if I press play, uh, I'm sorry, record, it goes uh, five, four, three, two, one, takes a picture. Five, four, and I'll better start moving this a little bit. And I can move it like that. And as you see, it's going to do some fun stuff. And there's um, some great things that you could put the iographer on top of um, that'll make a moving time lapse. Kind of like, I call them egg timers. <laughs> and you put the iographer on top of it. You put that on top of a tripod. And what it does is go and makes a nice movement from left to right or right to left or even up and down. And we'll do some fun time lapse stuff. So this is it. This is the eye stop motion for iPad from Boink Software. It is one of the cool things that we have on our iPad. Uh, so check it out now. I Stop Motion for iPad. It's about $9.95 uh, in the App Store. Worth every penny. I'm Dave Basulto. Thanks for checking us out.